Pigs don't eat plants. Uh, they do need high humidity. So if you're taking a yard which is sun-baked with no vegetation in it and putting vegetation back, it would be more favorable for, for ticks. But what promotes tick populations are the hosts that, that ticks require. So most people are, are worried about uh, the black-legged tick or the deer tick. That's the tick that, that spreads Lyme disease. We have deer ticks now because we have too many deer. It's not about the amount of native plants we have. It's the fact that we've increased a, a vital part of their host relationship uh, to the point where they're, they're you know, now deer ticks everywhere. When I grew up, we ran around the woods, we laid in the weeds, we did everything. We never got a single deer tick. I didn't know what a deer tick was until uh, deer populations themselves exploded. Now, the other part of the, the uh, Lyme disease cycle is uh, typically white-footed mice or small, small rodents. And there are people that want to landscape in a way that, that eliminates all of, all of those creatures. I'm dead against that because uh, mice are a, a critically important part of, of food webs. You get rid of mice and voles uh, and you're getting rid of the hawks, you're getting rid of the owls, you're getting rid of uh, you know, the, the top predators that rely on things. Um, in other words, you're, you're creating a, a dead landscape almost the same as if you got rid of all your insects. So if you use a lot of native plants, you're gonna have more ticks than if you use non-native plants. No, ticks don't care whether it's native or not. Um, all they do is crawl up on a plant and they, it's called questing. They put their little legs out and when you walk by, they grab onto your, your pants or your, your leg and that's how they get, get onto you. So how do we fight ticks? There are a couple of things that you should be aware of. Learn when tick infectivity where you live is the greatest. Typically it's in uh, springtime, late spring, May and June when the um, larval ticks are, are uh, most active and um, most in infective. So uh, that's when you should be extra vigilant in, in making sure that you check yourself to see if you've gotten a tick. This is a good use of lawn actually, is to have paths through your natural areas that are, are mowed uh, so that you can walk through your, your yard without brushing up against vegetation. Um, then the ticks are, are not going to be able to climb up on things and, and quest. Later in the summer, uh, tick infectivity goes way down. And particularly if it gets hot and dry, then tick numbers, they're hiding. Um, you can start getting adult ticks later on in, in the early fall and, and later fall. But they're usually infect, uh, infectivity is, is very low. These are generalities. There's always going to be some exception. So we always have to be vigilant. More recommendations if you get a, a tick on you, pull it off and put Neosporin where the tick was, was attached. If you do this within 24 hours of the tick attaching to you, there's an excellent chance that you will kill the Borrelia. Um, that is what the, it's the organism the tick has, has injected into you before it gets into your, your bloodstream. Uh, a, a researcher at the uh, University of Pennsylvania gave me that advice years ago, and ever since then we have followed it and we have not gotten any, any Lyme disease. Don't wait till you get a test, do it, because the, there's, there's no downside uh, and, and it works. But is, is the alternative of planting, having a, a plant-free yard so that you don't get Lyme disease, um, to me that the cost of that is far, far too great in terms of long-term long ecosystem stability.